Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm cash stuffing my very first paycheck of January. So I will consider this my first cash stuffing of 2024. My previous paycheck, it was like the 30th of December maybe that I was paid. So technically a lot of my pay went to January bills, really most of it. But this is the first official pay of January. So I will count this as the first one. So if I remember correctly, this should be $363. But let me go over the uh, real numbers here with you. So I think I might want to do cash breakdowns in the future. We will see. Let me know how you guys feel about it. But um, my pay with overtime was $1381.20. I did get um, pay from Joe for renter's insurance. We will be splitting that. Um, so it's paid. It comes right out of my paycheck. So he's paying the first one and then the next one of the month I will pay. Um, money that I leave in my account for bills. So I have gym, student loans, which I've already paid 200. My portion of the um, cable, my loan, $338.16. My minimum payment to city, 41. And this, I needed gas before I got paid because I highly underestimated traveling to family and needing gas. So I preemptively bought that in the last pay cycle and was paying myself back. So I uh, paid the credit card. Uh, Capital One Venture, I underestimated, but TubeBuddy came out the annual, like I said in my last cash stuffing, I need to do much better about figuring out when I'm getting my things pulled annually. And so this one snuck up on me. So 23.20, I was paying with cash and then I have money in my um, business binder that I was going to do the remaining 20. So it's technically 43.20 that I have to pay for the annual subscription. Discover 31.27, uh, Amazon credit card 25.89. And I put money in my buffer five dollars for gas and that was because i was topping off my tank again because joe wanted to buy a car cash from his best friend um in williamsport and it's an hour and a half drive so i was gonna drive he so we had to take my car to get there and then i had to drive back and he was he's gonna pay me for the gas that it takes but he wanted me to top it off for him um, so yeah, these were things that I changed my mind on. Um, I was going to use money because I get an annual bonus each year for Christmas from the sales department. And I was going to use that money that was coming in to, uh, for some of my new supplies for 2024. But then I changed my mind and I decided to just cash flow it. So these payments here are paying off my credit cards uh, for purchases that I made. Um, and then the rest is going to be going into cash wallets, sinking funds, savings challenges, that sort of thing. So my bills in total is $775.11 in this two-week pay cycle. So let's get into the cash stuffing. So according to this, after savings challenges, I should have $363. So let's give it a count. Awesome. So that was $363. And did you see that $5 bill in here? Oh, that is so cool. This is from 1985. Wow. This is such a cool bill. So I'm going to try to not spend that. <laughs> okay, so let's set up the cash tray. 
I always have a ton of catch up to do with you guys. Um, so firstly, I hope your new year is going great so far. You may have seen a cattail. That was Kenzie. But I hope your new year is going great so far. And I'm super behind. I'm not going to lie. I've been kind of dragging my feet with prepping my new binder. So you will get a sneak peek of kind of like what I'm doing for the new year. But um, like I mentioned, some of the things I cash forward was binders and stuff like that. I am reworking kind of like how I'm doing things in 2024 and the look of things. It is not necessary if you are watching and you don't do the cash envelope stuffing method. You can just start as simple as normal white envelopes like this. You don't have to do anything fancy, but for me, it's kind of like getting a new pair of like a new gym outfit it's motivating to want to go to the gym so for me if revamping my binders just giving a new vibe of uh, new goals and all, all that sort of stuff like to me it's fun it keeps me motivated it keeps me excited so it is not necessary but it makes me happy so starting in the cash wallet Let's pull out my change and push that back in. So I cash out all of my coins. If you've seen previous cash stuffing videos, you will know that the jar is empty and we are starting fresh. I really hate getting change out of this wallet. I forgot about my change purse and I was kind of putting the change in here. It's just really really annoying to get to <laughs> oh lord i just i did overtime today today's technically saturday as i'm filming but i was just paid on the 11th i'm exhausted i took a several hour nap afterwards so here we are with the change so honestly a lot of times i pay myself back with like i'll you swipe my credit card for purchases and then I'll pay myself back with my cash. I throughout the year have had so much cash back that way. I honestly might continue that. Like a part of me is like, oh, I should just stick to all cash, blah, blah. But I feel like it's more lucrative to get the rewards from just using credit card, but whatever. So we do have some rollover. Let's take a look here. So we have groceries. So we have $5 in groceries. <laughs> and I'm laughing because I made this big deal last time of like, well, I probably shouldn't put money into coffee, da, 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 but I did. I never spent it. <laughs> so uh, I'm like, should I roll it over? Should I? Yeah, let's roll it over. Let's roll it over. So this, the $5, I will put into my savings challenges for debt. Okay. So groceries. Oh, I don't want to use that five. I'm gonna try to put it elsewhere. Uh, I don't know that I have anything that's like a. Oh, no, I can't even do that. Shoot. Ugh, I'm gonna just have to try not to spend it. So, 10, yeah, 10. 120, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So, 140 into groceries. This is the money that goes into my wallet is spending money for the next two weeks. I've worked myself up to it. A lot of people like to take their paychecks and divide it into two if they're paid bi-weekly. Uh, I used to do that when I first started cash stuffing, but I feel that I have more restraint. Um, except I do recognize in myself that when I'm extremely stressed, I can get more spendy. So that is a habit that I've realized that I have and comes around every now and then, but for the most part, I am much more disciplined than I was. So 
Oh, I realize I'm basically doing this from memory. I kind of need my my binder to tell me what I'm cash stuffing. Or like what I was showing you guys earlier. Okay, so coffee, I was just adding in $5. So now it has $10 in total. Who knows? Maybe I'll carry that five over again. Dining, I decided to do 25 but I broke it up. Oh no, shoot. I think what I'll do is off camera, uh, I will go into one of my binders and swap this into one of my like savings challenge binders. That way I can kind of tuck it to the side. And maybe next time I get paid, I'll leave a $5 buffer in my account and like just set this to the side or something. I like to break up the cash in case like especially because a lot of my eating out is done through apps so i like to have change to be able to pay myself back properly so 10 15 20 21 22 23 24 25 so this is for eating out for the next two weeks and i never really put anything directly into my wallet right away for personal care or household i sort of just put that in my sinking funds and as i need it i pull it out but like if i'm uh, like and pull it out and put it in my my cash wallet in other words like i don't like to keep it in my wallet at all times plus i find like i'll look at like a fabric spray and i'm like oh this is good i want this and then i'll buy it just because i have the cash on me whereas like if i don't have the cash on me for something like that I kind of just actually get what I need, if that makes sense. So a bit of a sneak peek. Like I said, I'm kind of revamping how I'm doing things. So this will still be like my focus priority binder. And I have this in here for now. I think I'm going to get the placeholder out. But first, let's start with the 2024 challenge. So I'm going to keep the 2024 challenge in my binder because I want to keep focus on it. It's essentially going to debt um, and it's going to be a slow going one. I've not saved quite this much money um, with a savings challenge. This will be my biggest one yet. And I decided that I wanted to keep it away from my other debt savings challenges because this one's more of a long-term one and sometimes I skip over the long-term ones when they're in my binder because I'm like oh that's so daunting and I want to keep this one in my focus binder because I want to always make sure that I work it into my budget every time I'm paid this challenge here comes from the Almost Organized Owl, and I will link her down below. And just because I decided to change things around in my budget, I, because I, money that I was going to use to pay for my supplies i yeah i kind of explained that before basically because i had to pay myself back i don't i wasn't able to budget this challenge as much as i would have wanted to but i will try to do that in the future so i colored in 53 dollars worth and i essentially pre-planned this um and worked it into my budget so I don't have like all these small bills to represent the 13, the 10, the, four, the 30. So 50, 1, 2, 3. So my first $53 in the 2024 challenge. This envelope was a freebie when I placed an order with um, Lily Budgets. So I'm not going to use this because this is going to get really full and thick. 
and these are delicate but for now I'm putting the money in there oh my gosh okay so that is Remy he, he's getting very big and he's after Kenzie oh my god that was wild <laughs> so oh my god you guys need to chill holy sorry for all of the craziness in the background so this comes from jesse budgets i'm debating if i should move this to debt because i was originally saving this up for dental work for teddy but then i got worried and i wanted to make sure that i did it ahead of time and not sit on it if that makes sense so I don't know, but this is one that's going to be a long-term one because I'm saving a thousand total. So I might just leave it in here. That way I can make sure I always work it into my budget. But the way things panned out, I'm not doing a ton in this pay cycle. So I'm doing 10 in total. Oh no, I'm coloring in the wrong one. Shoot. <sighs> I meant to color in the five. Here, I'll color in the five because I'm doubling up on this five and five is ten. So I'll make a note off camera about the ten dollars. I'll work this in some way next time. So ten dollars is going in. Okay, yeah, I can't believe I did that. I think I'm at a hundred now. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. Oh my gosh. There's some fighting in the background. You might hear. So Remy is much more kinder to Teddy. Teddy is such a love bug. She's very sweet and they eat together a lot. Like it's a social event. When I pull, get wet food out, it's always the two of them that are eating it together. And then... Um, Teddy is my bestie. She's my little sidekick. So a lot of times, you know, she's hanging out with me on the bed when I'm going to bed and like he, he likes to join and she'll sit there and she'll be really gentle with him and give him a bath sometimes. So I think those moments they have built a bond, whereas Kenzie is much more stubborn. Um, and like she tries to be gentle, but she can be pretty rough with him. <laughs> Okay, so I'm doubling up on car insurance. There's a whole bait and switch story, blah, blah. So I'm doubling up on it and putting an 80. I think I'm going to budget 40 bi-weekly just to build a little bit of a buffer. Um, that way I can make sure I have enough money saved and maybe even extra uh, by the time the six-month premium rolls around in June. I'd rather have a little bit extra than not enough, you know? so dental um i just got my crown this week the permanent crown so dental work i did so far they were talking about two crowns but they realized they could just do a filling on the one which is huge because that's a huge money saver so they kind of filled it in and then i did the crown work i'm so sorry for all the scuffling that you hear um so I just went in and like after everything was all said and done, I have money left in the dental and I'm going to take a break from this for a while because the other side, side of my mouth is going to be really expensive because I need to consider either doing a bridge, which is really crappy to think that insurances make you go that route because that means that they have to shave down two teeth and anchor in to get the the crown on for the bridge because like my one tooth is breaking down so it's going to need to be pulled so i'm just kind of burnt out on the whole dental thing so i'm not going to go as ham and crazy with saving in this moving forward but i do still want to save but yeah it's kind of crazy that insurances don't really seem to want to cover implant and that it's so so expensive because you have to compromise teeth 
to do a bridge or even a denture like oh that's great i'm not doing a denture i can tell you that so it's between a bridge or an implant an implant would take care of it right then and there it's just pull the tooth and then they just put the post in put a crown on it and everything i don't know okay so that is it for this binder the next binder this used to kind of be my low priority binder but sneak peek i'm not I'm not done revamping things and changing the envelopes and whatever, but this is going to be my household binder moving forward. So I'm going to be adding $10 to personal care. Oh, we have some money in here. That's exciting. That's exciting when you don't realize that. Oh, cool. So now we have 13 in personal care. Household is getting ten dollars and is empty, so I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna shove it right in there. And lastly, this is my like friends and family binder. I am cash stuffing into gifts. Joe's birthday, he's a groundhog baby, so I'm saving up a hundred dollars for his birthday, and then I'm gonna save up more money as well because of his cake, like his ice cream cake, and taking him out. Like that's what we always do for each other. Like we'll take each other out to whatever restaurant that the person wants to go to. I never get ice cream cake or a birthday cake. I usually want ice cream, so he'll buy me we have like a local ice cream place here and like he'll get me like a pint of their ice cream oh it's so good so we have 20 30 40 50 dollars in total in gifts so i will put the remaining 50 in the next cash stuffing and then you know put money to the side as well for his food so that is everything for this cash stuffing, if you are still here, put in hashtag crazy cats because they were complete whack jobs. I'm so sorry that you had to see that. <laughs> uh, that's usually how that goes all day, every day around here. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for your support. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.